thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this is going to be me testing out some new products. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so you already know all the products that are the new or slash new-ish products. Um, I will have timestamps below just in case you don't want to hear my thoughts on each product that I talk about. And I like to just kind of give a quick rundown of what I think about the products as opposed to you having to wait to the end of the video or while I'm actually using it. So again, I'll have timestamps below and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the two fails in this video. And the first one would be these Too Faced eyelashes. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. And these are just regular, schmegular Amazon lashes. So if you're thinking about these, you know, just kind of pass them up because I think we're just kind of paying for the box. And I'm still one of those people who get bamboozled with the packaging, but yeah, it is extra cute, but yeah total fail because I can get it for a fraction of the price on Amazon. Another fail for me was this Beauty Bay <laughs> eyeshadow palette and I have the Book of Magic palette and I actually did a video on it where I did four or five looks and these Beauty Bay eyeshadows are just kind of they're hard for me to use. They to me they don't layer they don't blend they just I don't know and I always get bamboozled. The reason that I bought these two is because I was bamboozled with the color story. It was it was very pretty, very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Of course, I used this look. You'll see where it was a total disaster when, <laughs> when you see the application. It was just a total mess. I'm not happy with this look, but check out one of my girls here on the YT. Her name is Lynette, and she's used this palette, and all of her eyeshadow looks are really good. She does very intense, detailed, up close tutorials, even on her IG. Her IG, all of her pictures, they are unedited pictures okay where you can up close you can see you know what's going on with that girl go check out her IG check out some of her tutorials if you're new to the game and you want someone who's gonna be really 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 detailed with every 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 little step and it's gonna show you up close check her out but anyway not for me this one's not for me see I need something uh, simple something easy I just kind of like those eyeshadows that will kind of blend themselves and I guess you could just call me a lazy makeup enthusiast <laughs> you know I just want those products that are just kind of gonna be easy to use but enough about that let's talk about what I did like and or should I say love have you all tried these Jaclyn Hill products this is the blush and the bronzer and this one is the loose luminous powder and then the loose highlighter of course I have it on now and of course like I always do I go overboard on everything I think I mainly went overboard on this loose all-over powder because it's gonna make you look very very glowy and pretty I like it I love it now this is how I would like to look if I were out in public up close you know, in front of someone's face, I would feel comfortable with this powder on. This is so pretty. Um, and you know, I'm not sure, you know, how it's reading to you all, but definitely, definitely let me know down below in the comments, but I love these. Now, there was a drawback, I have to say, this uh, blush was rough. Okay, very rough. The bronzer uh, was smooth, but it was really rough. It wasn't a smooth con uh, consistency. Like when you touched it, it was just uh, rough to me. But anyway, um, as far as the foundation, really loved it. This is very, very hydrating. Okay, well, let me say it again. Hydrating, very, very hydrating. Okay, maybe I didn't say it. Very, very hydrating. If you have dry skin, you're gonna love this, okay? And I was convinced, um, or yeah, convinced <laughs> to buy it in Sephora because the guy was like, oh, this is buildable and this is this and it's got all this. Um, it doesn't have a fragrance, which I love. I do need to look closer at the ingredients and I'll probably list it somewhere on the screen so you can check it out. It really does feel good and light. I do have two layers on it of it on now and you know how when you wear a found when you apply a foundation and you start feeling it and start feeling heavy um not you're not going to get that with this one but you are going to have to set it and you'll see what i'm talking about when you actually go in and see the application but i like this and i think this will be great for mature skin you know i gotta look out for the mature skin crowd you all know i'll be 50 in september i'll be a part of the 50 crew 
and I just feel like I have to represent in that area because not all foundations are gonna look good at least on my skin as opposed to what my skin was like in my 20s but either way this is really nice and then there is the Tarte ultra creamy concealer this is really nice of course I have the wrong shade you can tell that now by my highlight it's way too light I do need to take it back and get a deeper shade but I do like the fact that it still had that coverage but it's very hydrating and it doesn't crease really bad and you don't have to you know when you apply it and you go to smooth it out it doesn't blend away you still get the coverage so I do like that and then the last thing is this Danessa Myricks cream eyeshadow really love this think it's pretty I did need uh, this to kind of help me feel more comfortable with this eyeshadow look I kind of used it on my inner eye and I really do want all of the shades, but I am a little bit cautious because in a lot of the reviews, or well, I'll say in some of the reviews, people were saying when they went to use the product, it was dried out, or they had it for a couple of months and then it dried out. You know, I did see some people saying that, so that's kind of scary. And these little things are like 18, 20 bucks, so I would hate to invest in more shades and then bam, I, I don't have, you know, I can't use it because it's dried out. But this one isn't, and I love it, and yeah. All right, so yeah, that's it. I've covered all of the makeup that's new in this video. Hope you all are still interested, and if you are, let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna start off with the Sunset Horizon palette. I'm not even sure if they still sell this on Beauty Bay, but I haven't had the opportunity to use this yet. But I think I'm gonna start off with this purple right here. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of it right here in my crease because I feel like I want to add uh, more of that orange and red that's in the palette. So I'm just going to kind of keep this low and contained <laughs> because if I go too high, it's just gonna be too much, more than what I feel like. I kind of see the look in my, in my head, but I don't know how well it's gonna translate. So I'm gonna go, and it's a lot of kick up. <laughs> it's a lot of kick up in the pan. That kind of stuff doesn't bother me, but I know it does bother some people. And I don't even know if this is gonna blend out. Cause see, I see right here that these shades aren't really blending out. So what I'm gonna try to do is add, ooh, so what I'm trying to do is add this blue right here. And I'm listening to Jasmine Sullivan. Do you all listen to Jasmine Sullivan? Oh my God. She has a new hit out by the name of Pick Up Your Feelings. And I love it. Okay, so trust the process, trust the process. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this yellow right here and put it up under here near my brow bone so yeah i know it's looking like pretty scary okay and you can't even really hardly see this yellow but i'm still going to apply it all right so now i'm gonna cut the crease with this orange right here I'm gonna go in with this shade next. It's like a metallic purple. And then on the outer part, I'm gonna put this one. It's like a black, a metallic black. Okay, I got that applied on both sides and now I'm gonna go in with this uh, shade. It, it's really up close, it just looks like a, a metallic black and I'm going to just add that right here. I'm gonna bring it all the way out. And it seems like, you know, you can only really see it good at different angles under the light. And then I have it out like that and now I'm just going to clean it up with the um, with the wipe because I think I done about had enough 
<laughs> these shadows. I do have this Danessa Myricks cream shadow. Maybe I'll put that, some of this on. Let's see. Am I going to mess up something? Probably. Let's see. Because it just looks... Uh, ooh. Okay. Okay. I put too much on. <laughs> oh my god. Did I mess up? Oh crap. I think I messed up. Okay. So let me try the orange on top of that. See how that'll look. Okay, I think that looks better. I don't like these little things right here, so I'm gonna, but I'm gonna take care of these little wings right here once I put on my um, foundation. And let me go ahead and put a liner on. All right, so I got that applied and I'm gonna use, let me put some glue on the lashes. The lashes that I'm gonna use Too Faced has some new lashes and these are cute. These are the lashes I'm gonna put on. All right, so I'm back with the eyelashes on and I know, I know, my look is like super whack. <laughs> But we're gonna go into the foundation and the foundation that I have is by And this is their Tinted Cover Foundation. This is it right here. And here's the shade. I hope you can see that. So I was told that this is buildable and just a great foundation. Great for mature skin like mine. You know, I'm getting up there in age. I'm gonna be 50 in September. Woo woo. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and put this on the back of my hand. And this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. All right, so I'm gonna put another layer on. Try to see if it can, if you can build it up like they say. And I can already tell I'm gonna need some powder with this. This thing seems empty. I hate it when I get foundations and stuff like that and you, when you get it, it seems like it's empty. Foundation that I recently did where it seemed like that. For the life of me, I can't think of which one it is because I use so many. All right, so let's go in with another Dewy product, and this is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer, and this is it right here. And of course, you get the the big old doe foot like before. All right, so let's blend this out. And you know, I try to wear my glasses when I'm uh, picking makeup in the store. <laughs> and it still doesn't matter because I still come out with these crazy light shades. It definitely looks like it's full coverage. All right, so now I'm gonna, oop. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my, uh, let me just show you. My favorite drugstore translucent powder. This is in CoverGirl. Well, you know what? I like the uh, Wet n Wild as well. So I'm just going to set this. All right, to set everything, I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Powder Foundation. I haven't used this in forever. I've also hit pan on it. All right, so now that I have that done, I'm gonna go in with this Jaclyn Hill. Um, this is her bronzer blush palette. This is it right here. I hope my camera's focusing. 
and and here are the shades this blush shade is really rough feeling but the bronzer shade is smooth so let me see how this looks this is a bronzer and I can tell you right off the back it does have like a reddish tint to it it kind of reminds me of that uh, Gucci bronzer All right, and I'm gonna go back in with my um, foundation brush and kind of blend it out better. Cause it got a little messy. And you know what, I'm going backwards, but I forgot I also have this Jaclyn Hill finishing powder. What is this called? And I'm a little afraid to use this. That's probably why I forgot about it. This is the Luminous Powder. Comes in a beautiful package like this. And you do get the little sleeve over it, so. I'm going to apply this now. So I have to say, I am afraid to try this, but hey, it is what it is. So we're gonna get a little bit in here, get a little bit on my brush. I got a clean brush. Oh, do y'all see that? Cause the lady in the store said, you can put this on all over. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it everywhere. <laughs> now my face looks wet, but it's not. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Now I don't know what it's gonna look like when I get ready to edit, but okay, Jacqueline, come through. Okay, girl. I see you, girl. I see you, girl. All right, so let's move back to this palette and let's do some blush. And I know you're like, oh Lord, here come Bridget and the blush. She always overdo it. So we're just gonna put a little bit well, actually, it's a lot, but I'm only going to put a little bit on. All right, yeah, okay, okay. So let me blend that out. I don't have on a lot. I hope it doesn't look like I have on a lot. All right, so now I'm going to put on the Beaming Highlight by Jaclyn Hill. Same deal, you get like a little slip thing over it. I'm going to add this right here. Ooh, okay, okay. That's too much. Oh goodness, I don't put too much. All right, so I need to blend that out, of course. I think that's it as far as the new products. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in this palette right here and on my lower lash line, I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put this blue. <laughs> I don't know. I know I shouldn't put the blue, but we just gonna put the blue, okay? Okay, so I got that. And now I'm just going to add some mascara. All right, so now that I have that for a lip, I don't know, you know, I always want to do a soft lip when I got a lot of action going on with the eyes. I was going to use this lip, but I'm just going to keep it simple, y'all, and I'm going to put on a nude lip. <laughs> I know you like Bridget. Girl, you need nude lips. Let me see. What do I have here? And this is just one of my Huda nude lipsticks. I'm going to add one of these uh, Maybelline Lifter glosses on top of this. And now I think that's pretty much it. I feel like, I don't know what, I gotta take some pictures first cause I can't really see, <laughs> I can't really tell how I look until I get edit, until I'm editing it. But this is the final look. <laughs> I hope you like it. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these, especially these Jaclyn Hill products. I think these are the star of the show for me. Oh, and I do like this foundation. And I do like this uh, concealer. I think the only thing that I don't like is Beauty Bay. I don't like their shadows. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. That's going to be the last Beauty Bay anything I ever buy in life. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you think. And until my next video, smooches.